James Lai was a giant in the translation of the Chinese classics in the later part of the Qing Dynasty, during a time when the knowledge from the West was the rage. Solitarily, he translated the knowledge from the East for the benefit of the world. In the sixth year of the Dongzi reign, his close friend Wang Tao wrote a farewell tribute to the Western scholar James Lang on his home return. It reads, It was only during the Jiaqing reign did eminent Western scholars arrive in Guangdong province, namely Robert Morrison, followed by William Mill, while Mr. Lake accompanied Walter Henry Medhurst and other distinguished Western scholars who garnered their studies to travel east. Mr. Legg is the youngest amongst them. His intellect and comportment are outstanding and unlike others. After the settlement of the Convention of Peking, precious goods in abundance converge. The East and the West are in harmony. A radiant spirit illuminates. Western scholars without exception solicit illustrious personages attentive to the advancement of scholarship, such as William Muhead, who assisted in the study of geography, Joseph Atkins in mechanics, Alexander Wiley in astronomy, Benjamin Hobson in medicine, Daniel Jerome McGowan in electrical engineering, and W.A.P. Martin in law. Their translations were published successively, competing with each other in excellence at the same time. However, these are works that only introduce the knowledge of the West into China. They do not concern the introduction of the precise and intricate scholarship of the Chinese classics into Western nations. Mr. Legg alone is undaunted by the difficulties. He concentrates his full endeavor on the 13 classics, painstakingly connecting and assessing them, studying the various schools of thoughts, investigating their origins, reaching independent conclusions, and rejecting conventional and common perspectives. For his commentaries of the classics, they do not adhere to one school, nor pursue one argument. They seek a broad field of references with supplements of the peripherals, adamant to achieve complete thoroughness. His materials are sourced from those of Confucius, Zhen Xuan, incorporating those from Zhen Hao, Zhen Yi, and Zhu Xi. He is impartial to Han Confucianism and Song Confucianism, bearing no favoritism to either. His translations include the four books, Confucian Analects, the works of Mencius, the Great Learning, the Doctrine of the Mean, and the Su Jing, or Book of Historical Documents. When the books appeared, Western scholars applauded them for meticulousness and erudition embracing them as benchmarks for the future. James Legg was born in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. He graduated from Highbury Theological College, and in 1839, he left for China as a missionary. He traveled through Malacca and was appointed headmaster of Anglo-Chinese College. In 1844, he relocated with the college to Hong Kong and continued the position as headmaster until 1867 for a total of 24 years, concurrently acting as pastor of Union Church. During this time, in 1846, he returned to Britain for over a year. In October 1862, Wang Tao sought refuge in Hong Kong. After acquainting himself with Legg, he assisted his translations and became an intimate friend. In 1867, when Legg returned to Britain for a few years, 
he invited Wang Tao to accompany him. From 1870 to 1873, Leg was reinstated to the posting as pastor of Union Church. In 1873, Leg visited the historic and scenic sites all over mainland China, and by the end of the year, he returned to Britain. In 1875, he was recommended to be a Fellow of Corpus Christi, University of Oxford. The following year, he was appointed the first chair of Chinese language and literature. According to contemporary chronicle, students were few then. Leg would rise at three in the morning, a desk lamp in place, a cup of tea ready, and plowed through his translations of the Chinese classics till 10 every night, with no difference for winter nor summer. And in this manner, he conducted himself for more than 20 years. His publications are titled The Monument of Xi'an Fu in Sanxi, The Religions of China, Confucianism and Taoism Described and Compared with Christianity, The Life and Teachings of Confucius, Life and Works of Mencius, The Chinese Classics, the Sacred Books of China, the Texts of Taoism. In my modest collection, there are two letters by James Legg written to William Shaoring. The first letter was written on the 26th of June, 1888, in Oxford. The letter reads, 3 Cabell Road, Oxford, 26th June, 1888. Dear Sir, I shall be quite willing to give you a lecture in your next session on Confucius and the religion of China. Please let me know, as soon as you can, on what Sunday you will wish me to do so, that I may keep it free from any other engagement. I am yours very sincerely, James Legg. In 1888, Legg was at the age of 74. He had been appointed chair of Chinese for 13 years. In the letter, he did not write the name of the addressee. However, it was written to William Shaoring and should be read in conjunction with the second letter. Shaoring was secretary of South Place Ethical Society. The letter was Legg's reply to his invitation to lecture in London. Legg named the title of his lecture Confucius and the Religion of China. The second letter was written on the 30th of March, 1889, in Oxford. The letter reads, 3 Cabo Road, Oxford, March 30th, 1889. Mr. Shaoring Esquire, Honourable Secretary, South Place Ethical Society, Finsbury, London. Dear Sir, I am happy to send you herewith the manuscript of my lecture on Confucius and the religion of China. Supposing from your former letter that it would not be works for the prep, I had thrown it aside and lost sight of it, but I have found it again today. You will return the manuscript and send me proofs as it is composed. Yours very sincerely, James Legg. Sometime after June 1888, Legg visited Finsbury of London to lecture at South Place Ethical Society. The following year, Secretary Shaoring proposed to collect the manuscripts of the lectures from the 40 speakers at the Society between 1888 and 1889, and to compile them into a book titled Religious Systems of the World, National, Christian and Philosophic a collection of addresses delivered at South Place Institute in 1888 to 1889. The book was published in 1890. There's a total of 40 lectures. The fourth lecture is by James Legg. The title was revised before the lecture to Confucius the Sage and the Religion of China, slightly different to the title stated in his letters. 
two additional words, the sage, were incorporated. The full text of the lecture is available at our website for the benefit of interested readers. The original name of South Place Ethical Society was South Place Religious Society. It was founded in 1787, but changed the name in 1888. The address was located at South Place Chapel in Finsbury, London. South Place Ethical Society is the first civic organization that advocates free thought. On the upper right-hand corners of the two letters, Legg wrote the address, 3 Cable Road, Oxford. The place now still exists. Legg arrived at Oxford in 1875 and passed away in 1897. He lived in this four-story house for a period of 23 years. In 2018, the local government installed a round plaque outside the building to commemorate a preeminent scholar who chartered a voyage of Sinology from east to west. 